Tableau Public 8 is a big release with a ton of new features. This video will go over some of the biggest and most obvious changes, tweaks, and improvements. We'll be using a dataset about Olympic athletes who have won medals since the 2000 Games in Sydney, Australia. The first thing that you'll notice that's changed in Tableau Public 8 is the entire interface. The marks card has been completely redesigned. Rather than have a list of shells off to the side, we have these drop zones or buttons. They function as how do you expect. For this map, if we want to color or size the marks by any field, such as the total number of medals won, you do so by dragging a field and dropping it on the correct encoding, whether size or color. You can also change the field's encoding by clicking on the icon to the left of the field itself. To customize any of the options, simply click the button. Label has a bonus feature. You can add multiple fields here, as many as you'd like. Tableau will still only show as many labels as can fit without overlapping onto other fields. You can also click on label to add specific formatting to each line or add additional text. The new Marks card also has a new tooltip button, which makes it easier to add information to the tooltip without having it affect the chart itself. While we're talking about maps, Map Options has been moved from the side to the menu at the top, which you can access by going to Map and Map Options. There's an additional new feature here, Make Default, which will save your current options, whether it's Map Style or Map Layers, as the default map. Any future map you open will start with these default options. Let's move on to some extra analysis techniques and to make this easier I'm going to move uh, all these items off of label. In this view we have total medals by country but maybe we want to view some statistics about medals by continents or different geographic regions. You can now group items simply by lassoing them and grouping them from the tooltip by clicking the paperclip icon. You can also do this by using the right-click menu. Once you create this new group, which I've already done with this group right here, you can use it to create other kinds of charts, such as a bar chart that shows how these regions compare to each other. If we want to see how each region fits as a part of the whole, we might try one of the new viz types, the tree map. The tree map is a series of nested rectangles that fit into a larger rectangle size size by a particular measure. Add a dimension, such as countries, to break up each square into smaller rectangles. Add another dimension to rows, such as closing ceremony date, to create a series of bar chart tree maps. The bar allows you to quickly compare one year against another, while the individual squares will show you how each country contributes to the total. Let's return to our original tree map view and add region to color. Let's go ahead and duplicate and take a look at two last new chart types. Using the drop down menu on the marks card, we can change the mark type to circle, which will result in the bubble chart. If we change the mark type to text, we'll get a word cloud. Both of these are a little bit more imprecise and are better when trying to compare and communicate relative magnitude. Word clouds are also best when used for actual text analysis. Let's combine these sheets onto a dashboard. This new button down here is specifically for dashboards, and the icon will also show up on any dashboard tabs, allowing you to quickly differentiate between worksheets and dashboards. While you can still design your dashboards by using the same tiled format from before, you can also freely move dashboard items in two ways. Simply select an item and click on floating in the lower left hand corner. Alternatively, you can click the drop down menu of any item and select floating. Once you do this, you'll be able to freely move any item wherever you'd like. You can do this with legends, filters, even other charts. You can also add entirely new items as floating by clicking this floating button over here. This opens up many new possibilities for visualization design and storytelling ability. Do be mindful to make sure that your content doesn't obstruct any information on your chart. This is just an overview and a sample of the new features in Tableau Public 8. 
There are a lot of other new features, including new sets, data blending, forecasting, and even a JavaScript API. Be sure to check out our other videos to see more of Tableau Public 8 in action.